Hello students, welcome to my channel Engineers Academy. Let's solve this particular problem. In this problem, we are required to determine the magnitude and coordinate direction angles of F3. Right, so we have to find the magnitude of this F3 and the angle of this F3 with the positive x axis is positive y axis is and positive z axis is right. And further, it is said that so that the resultant of these three forces acts along the positive y axis is and has a magnitude of 600 pound right so the resultant of these three forces need to be acting along the positive y axis is right so for that we have to find f3 and the angle of this f3 with the positive x y and z axis is right so let's say that this uh, f3 is making uh, alpha angle with the uh, positive x axis is let's say this is alpha and let's say that this f3 is making beta angle with the positive y axis is and let's say that this is making gamma angle with the positive z axis right so we have to find this alpha beta and gamma and the magnitude of this f3 force so to solve this problem first what i will do is that uh, i will resolve all these forces f1 f2 and f3 into its components right and i will write these as a cartesian vectors right so if we write f1 as a cartesian vector right so f1 vector and as we can see that this f1 is acting in the negative x direction right so its y and z components are zero right so f1 x is f1 x is 180 and it is acting in the negative i direction right its y component is zero and its j component is zero uh, sorry its k component is zero right so j and k components are zero since the f1 is only acting in the negative x direction similarly if you want to write f2 as a vector as a cartesian vector so we have to resolve this f2 we are given the angle of f2 uh, this angle is 30 and this angle is 40 right so if i draw the if i draw one component here so let's say that this component is f2 dash so f2 dash component is acting in the xy plane right and i can draw one another component of f2 in this direction right so if i put this uh, component along the z axis so it is parallel to the z axis and it is acting in the negative z direction right so this means that this component is the f2 z component right so from this triangle this uh, light blue triangle we can say that f2 z is the sine component right since the angle is made with f2 dash right so this is f2 so f2 z is uh, 300 right this is the sine component of this f2 this is 300 sine of 30 degrees right and similarly f2 dash is the cos component of this 300 pound right so this is 300 cos of 30 degrees and if i further resolve uh, this f2 dash into its components right so we will have one component along the positive y direction and we will have one another component will be acting in the positive x direction right if i move this so this component is parallel to the x axis is right so this means that this is f2 x and this is f2 y right and f2 z is acting in the negative z direction so remember this is negative right so this is negative 300 sine of 30 and if if we consider this dark blue triangle then f2 x is the component of f2 dash so we can write that this is f2 dash sine of 40 degrees and similarly this f2y is f2 dash cos of 40 degrees since the angle is made with this component right with the y axis so this is the cos component so we can write f2 so f2x this is f2x f2 dash sine of 40 i will write f2 dash sine of 40 in the positive i direction right so this is positive i and f2 y is also acting in the positive y direction so i will write plus and this is f2 dash cos of 40 and this is acting in the positive j direction and f2 z is acting in the negative z direction so i will write minus 300 sine of 30 degrees along k and f2 dash is 300 cos of 30 so we will replace f2 dash by 300 cos of 30 right so this is 300 cos of 30 degrees similarly this is also 300 
cos of 30 degrees right before simplifying this let me uh, resolve f3 let me write f3 into its components form right so f3 is equal to so if if these are the coordinate direction angles of f3 so we can write f3 directly in terms of these uh, coordinate direction angles so f3 x will be f3 cos of alpha i plus uh, the f3 y component will be f3 cos of beta j and similarly this will be f3 cos of gamma k right and we are given that the resultant is acting along the positive y axis is right so if i write the resultant vector right so the resultant is only acting in the positive y axis so this means that it's it's our x component is zero it's magnet the rx component magnitude is zero and the ry component magnitude is 600 and the rz component magnitude of the resultant is also zero right so we can write that our r vector is zero i and plus 600 j right since the the resultant is acting in the positive y axis right so this will be plus plus 600 j and plus zero k so when we add uh, f1 f2 and f3 so we will get this resultant vector right if we add the respective components so then they uh, this uh, f1 x plus f2 x plus f3 x will be equal to 0 f1 y plus f2 y plus f3 y need to be equal to 600 since this is the condition of the problem f1 z plus f2 z plus f3 z need to be equal to 0 right so this means that our x will be equal to the summation of all components along x and this is equal to 0 right from here so now we can write that minus 180 this minus 180 plus this thing plus 300 cos of 30 sine of 40 and plus this thing right so plus f3 cos of alpha equals to 0 right so we can write f3 cos of alpha equals to this will become positive so this will be 180 minus 300 cos of 30 sine of 40 so let me solve this so 180 minus 300 cos of 30 sine of 40 so this is 12.99 right so we can add that it is approximately equal to 13 so f3 cos of phi is approximately equal to 13 pounds right so this is our equation one right similarly the ry is equal to the summation of all components along the y and this is equal to 600 since the resultant is acting in the positive x direction in the positive y direction right so this zero plus this zero plus this component this is 300 cos of 30 cos of 40 degrees plus f3 cos of beta so this will be equal to 600 according to this equation right so this is equal to 600 right so now we can write that f3 cos of beta will be equal to 600 minus this thing right so this is 300 cos of 30 cos of 40 right so 600 minus 300 cos of 30 cos of 40 so this is equal to 401 right so this is approximately 401 so f3 cos of beta is approximately 401 pounds and this is equation 2 right similarly the if we add up all the components of f1 f2 and f3 along the z axis is so that will be equal to 0 since the resultant is only acting in the positive y direction so we can write that is 0 minus 300 sine of 30 degrees plus f3 cos of gamma equals to 0 so from this we can write that f3 cos of gamma equals to 300 sine of 30 degrees and similarly uh, is this this is our equation 3 
right so as we can see that we have uh, three equations and four unknowns right so uh, we need to find we need to have one another equation to find all these unknowns right so we have one another equation uh, as we know that cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma this is al always equal to 1. So now from equation 1 cos of alpha is 13 divided by f3 right. So we can write that cos of alpha is 13 divided by f3 square. Similarly uh, cos of beta from equation 2 is 401 divided by f3 square. And similarly, cos of gamma from this equation is 300 sine of 30. So let me find 300 sine of 30 first, right? So 300 sine of 30. So this is 150, right? So this thing is 150, right? So this is 150 divided by f3 equals to 1, and this is squared, right? So we can write this as 13 squared divided by f3 squared plus 401 squared divided by f3 squared plus 150 square divided by f3 square this is equal to 1 so now if i multiply this whole equation with f3 so these all f3s will cancel out right so all f3 will cancel out and we will have f3 here this is f3 square right i have multiplied the whole uh, whole of this equation with f3 square right so we are left with this so we can find f3 magnitude if i take the square root on both sides right so this will be f3 magnitude will be equal to this thing right so this is uh, 13 square plus 401 square plus 150 square so f3 magnitude is approximately 428 pounds so f3 magnitude is 428 pounds now we can use equation 1, 2 and 3 to find alpha, beta and gamma, right? So from equation 1, cos of alpha equals to 13 divided by F3 and F3 is 428. So alpha will be cos inverse 13 divided by 428. So similarly, alpha will be cos inverse uh, 13 divided by 428. So this is 88.26, right? So alpha is 88.26 degrees. Similarly, cos of beta from equation two will be 401 divided by F3, and F3 magnitude is 428. So this will give us beta cos inverse. If we take cos inverse, cos inverse 401 divided by 428, right? So 401 this is 20.46 right so 20.46 is beta and similarly from equation 3 we can write that cos of gamma equals to this is 150 150 divided by f3 which is 428 so gamma will be cos inverse 150 divided by 428 right so gamma is 150 divided by 428 this is 69.48 right so 69.48 is gamma right so f3 magnitude is 428 and the coordinate direction angles of f3 with the positive x y and z axis are 88.26 20.46 and 69.48 respectively so this is the solution of this particular problem